Hello! So, in this short video, I will show you how to make and save a custom brush tool in Photoshop. The one we're going to make today is called a graphite brush. And it looks like this. Okay, and this comes really handy when you scan in a graphite sketch like this if you want to add, you know, extra detail like this or if you want to touch up some parts that are a little light like that and it comes really handy so uh, let's see so one we're, I'm going to show you how to make this but two I'm also going to take you through this whole brush palette so you are aware of the options ready okay so let's get started so for the purpose of this I'm gonna start out kinda of big so you can actually see the example here this is like the preview box so once you click on the brush tip shape, you see all these options. Okay, and uh, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle to about 60 degrees. You can click, type in the number or drag this. Okay, same thing with roundness. It's going to be about 18. The hardness is going to be 100%, meaning the edge is going to be crisp. And spacing is the space between like how often the brush leaves a mark. So you want that pretty close. I'm going to put that to 1%. Okay. Uh, now, go to Shape Dynamics. If you actually click, you can click on and off the checkbox, but if you actually click on the text, these uh, more options pop up. So I'm going to go through really quick what it means. So basically, jitter means randomness. So higher the jitter, more random the brush is going to be. So for this brush, we're going to do about 25% jitter. Okay, Pen pressure is going to be the control. Uh, meaning if you have a Wacom tablet, like lighter to touch, lighter, but like that. Okay, minimum diameter is going to be 70. Okay, feel free to play around. This is an example. So, okay, angle jitter. I'm going to say 7 here. Uh, roundness jitter going to be 11%. And for both these controls, it's going to be the pen pressure. Again, if you're using a Wacom tablet, it's going to make a difference. Okay, so now let's check out this brush. Oh, so already it's looking pretty good. But let's go ahead and add more options. Okay, now click on scattering. Scattering, the scatter is going to be about 40%. That's pretty close. That's 38. Now have the control is off, so uh, the pen pressure doesn't affect the brush. Okay, the count is going to be 10, and the uh, count jitter, again jitter means randomness, it's going to be 54. Okay, and again, pen pressure. Okay, texture, you want that little, you want this brush to pick up a little piece of that texture like a real graphite does on the surface. And so you can pick any uh, texture here, I just picked one. And um, you want the scale to be pretty small, about 50%. Uh, you want the mode to be multiply, and the depth, you want it to be about 20%. Right now I have 19, so that's good. Uh, minimum depth, 64. Depth, jitter, 42. And fade is 1. Okay, so moving right along. Um, dual brush and color dynamics, that's for more of like a painterly effect. So for the graphite one, we're going to skip this, but feel free to play around. Uh, other dynamics, I'm going to have the opacity jitter set at 21. Okay, set at pen pressure. Flow jitter, it's going to be 31. Okay, and this is going to be pen tilt. Okay, and the ones below this line, it's either just on or off, so you can't click, even if you click on the text, it doesn't do that. So uh, here I'm going to click on noise, click off airbrush, but keep the smoothing and protect texture on. Okay, so now this is our brush. Except, oh, it's too big, so either go up here and type in, well, eight's about the right size for this to work. So now, I got this pretty cool graphite brush. Well, that's cool, so how are you going to save it? Well, uh, go to pr tool presets, it's Windows tool presets, okay, and go to this thing and say new, new tool preset, and I'll save, 